Another day, another deal. Welcome to Auction Watch. I'm your host, Michael Cosmos. Today, we're looking at another property listed at auction. It's a two-bedroom detached bungalow on a corner plot with development potential listed at a guide price. Wait for it. £39,000. I would say that's clickbait guide prices right there. This is typical of auction houses when they list a property at a guide price which is way below anything it will go for. But let's look into this deal and see what it has to offer. But before we go any further, subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. That's the only way we are able to get this content to as many people as possible. That's all you gotta do, hit the like button. Waiting, come on. There you go. Let's take a walk through this property. Looking at the externals, we can see that this property is located in a neighborhood with mostly two story buildings, uh, whereby our bungalow is only one story. So that's actually one potential way we can identify straight away that you could redevelop this property and give it an additional story to match the settings in terms of the other properties neighboring this property. It's a two bedroom bungalow with a dining and living room leading on to the kitchen. Uh, there is a clue hidden within this property. If you take a look closely, I don't know if you can see it. It's literally the stickers you have across the property that show you a great sign that this property is a repossessed property that is with the bank. Uh, typical of the banks when they take on a property after they have repossessed it, they put stickers right across the property and warning signs. This shows you that this is with the bank and not being sold by an owner occupier. So it's likely to go when it goes to auction because the bank is keen to offload it and they will set a price that is realistic whereby at times when it is an owner who's selling it, they will make sure that their reserve price is quite high. So if you look at the building by the fireplace, there is a sticker. If you look at your bathrooms within the, on the toilet seat as well as on the sink basin, there are those warning signs. Those are typical of bank listings, repossessed properties. They will have these warning signs or they'll have tape, which is with red markers or blue markers. So this could be a great deal when it goes to the auction house. Let's look at how we can add value to this property through development. There are two opportunities here. One is to extend into the loft and the other is potentially a side extension. I would opt for a loft extension because it's much more cost effective. When you do a side extension, you now have to consider things like foundations and new roofing and all the other things that come along with it. But when you consider a loft extension, you are simply working with the space that's already existing and potentially just adding windows and creating a living space. But before we go upstairs, let's currently look Look at the layout that is on the first floor and see how we could potentially improve that. I would look at the living space and open it all up to be one open space where you have the kitchen, living and dining space. This will open it up and make a great space for family to live in as well as uh, a place for entertaining. The other additional bedroom on this floor, you could potentially keep it as a bedroom or have it as a snug as you will have two extra bedrooms on the top level. Now let's look at the top level. That is where we are looking to add value. This is a quick rough sketch of what we can potentially achieve. You are not going to necessarily use all the square footage that you have on the downstairs living space. You would be looking to at least use about 50% or less because of how the roof is arched. It means that you cannot use the entire floor plan of a bungalow. So therefore we are only looking at two bedrooms and a bathroom. Once you add this to the property, you increase the square footage create two extra bedrooms and dramatically increase the value of this property. The rule of this show is that we start with the end in mind. Now that we know what we are trying to do with this property, it is to convert the loft space into two bedrooms and a bathroom. We will jump into the numbers using the deal calculator that is available for download 
in the links below. We are going to populate our figures for this development appraisal. I'm going to focus specifically on the cost of redevelopment and simply highlight the other costs so that we know what we can go into the auction house is our maximum bid price. As a quick guide, we are going to be redeveloping at least 50% of the floor space on the attic level so that we can turn it into two bedrooms. So that gives us about 49 square meters of space to redevelop. And we can use a guide price of redevelopment cost per square meter of 1,000 pounds. That then gives us an equation of about 50,000 pounds of budget to redevelop the loft space. And we also have to set aside a budget for redeveloping the ground floor space. Based on that we have 98 square meters, I'll simply use a simple rule of thumb and put a guide price of redeveloping the entire first floor at 500 pounds per square meter. Without turning this into a long drawn out maths class, I know some of you hated maths, but as you can see now in life and in business, especially in investing, you have to know your numbers. Our total development cost is going to be 100 117,000 pounds and we also need to understand how much we're going to be able to sell this property for. Using local data on secondary research, we are looking at a sell price based on 2,500 per square meter. We have increased the square meterage of this property by 50% to give us a total floor space of 147 square meters. So therefore, we can look at a sell price of 300 179,000 pounds. And if we are going to develop this, we need a profit target because we can't do this for free. I don't know if you do stuff for free. No, I certainly no. don't. Our profit target is 20%, which is the standard going rate. But should we be able to buy this property for cheaper than our target price? It simply means our profit margin will go up. At the moment, it stands at 75,000 pounds. All in all, this calculation gives us a target maximum bid price of 161,000 pounds for a two bedroom bungalow in Birmingham with a guide price of 39,000 pounds. Now let's see how it will go and fare in the auction. One minute, before we go into the auction, one quick word of advice. When it comes to loft extensions, most of them do not fall under the need of having a planning permission because they fall under permitted development rights. These are rights that are offered to property owners within the United Kingdom to make certain alterations to their property without the need for a full planning application. Having said that, should you be looking to sell the property, it is advisable to get a certificate of lawful development, which will give assurance to your buyer to know that you have complied with the local regulations. Though you do not need planning, you still need building regulations to certify all the things that you're going to do to the property to make sure that it is built safely and according to the standards. But aside from that, go ahead, do your conversions, make sure that you are in line with your local regulations. And there might be some changes and some conditions required if you are in a place of natural beauty or a conservation area where they will put additional requirements or even restrictions on any loft conversions. Check with your local authority for all the regulations that relate to your specific area. But for more on permitted development rights, check out another video which I done earlier, which covers this whole topic. Before you go into the auction room, make sure you have your finance sorted. At City Estate Partners, we offer specialized auction finance solutions tailored to your needs. With our expertise and experience, you can bid with confidence and seize the opportunities in today's fast-paced property market. Get in touch with us today at www.citystatepartners.com and explore your financial options for successful business. This video is sponsored by City State Partners. As you've heard, they offer bridging loans for auction property as well as a number of real estate investment services within the UK. Check them out. But without further ado, let's go into the auction room. 
Lot 53 is now under the hammer, as you can see. Uh, the auctioneer starts the auction at 70,000 pounds, where the guide price was 39. This is typical of auction houses, click baiting us into believing that you could get this property for any cheaper, but let's see what happens. But it's a shame, it's a damn shame. Can we have 110? Yes, we can from Mr. B, a separate Mr. B. 110, now to 120. Yes, Mr. S is back in at 120, now 130. Now 130. Our maximum bid price is £161,000. We're at 120 at the moment. Uh, double, triple the amount of the guide price. And here we are. I'm holding on to my seat here, hoping that this price doesn't go over that 161. Let's see how it goes. 140, thank you. Now we've got 140. 150, James. 150 is Mr. N. Less than a minute and a half into this auction and it looks like our maximum bid price is going to be breached. We are still going up in increments of 10,000 pounds. We are at 160 already. Come on, we worked on this deal and we are literally about to be breached within one and a half minutes. Thus, <sighs> at 160,000 pounds, telephone is out, online is in, looking for 162. Okay, make it 161 to get on. Oh, hold on a minute. It seems like we could be done at 160. Come on, let's see. Can we can we get this? Can we can we do this? Great bar. One 161, telephones back in at 161. Make it 500, Zamba, please now. 161 and a half. Okay, 161. This is our maximum bid price. Anything higher than this, we 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 totally out, man. Um, yeah, I mean, this is where the temptation comes in to start playing around with the numbers. But we're at 161. This is as far as we can go. Does that? Uh, yes, it does. That helps. 161 and a half. We're at 161,500, and this is tempting because you're thinking 500 pounds different. What is it going to make? A difference in the grand scheme of things and this is where you're ending up going for 162 though your maximum budget is 161 the emotions is too tense Tempty, mr. MK go for it sir thank you 170 I'm bid now 171 mr. S we're at 170 now it's way out of our league way out of our range this is where you gotta walk away now let's just watch the rest of the auction for the sake of it we are not involved in this bid now 177, no, yes, 177, 178, 178, at 177,000 pounds. Mr. MK, you're coming back in, you're not hovering. So Mr. S, you've got it at 177, first time, second time, third and the very last time, going, going, and now gone thank you both very much there you go sold at 177,000. you you're talking about way above our maximum bid price ah <sighs> that's the nature of auctions man you can do all the deal calculations get involved emotionally in a property to only face that fact that someone is going to outbid you but sometimes it's okay walk away that's it folks i hope you have enjoyed this episode of auction watch uh, I will see you next time. Remember, like, subscribe, and share these videos. And until another day, we'll look at another deal. I'll see you next time.